New tonight, a local Oregon State Police lieutenant has dedicated hundreds of hours of personal time to an 87-year-old case. Now she's asking the community for help. NBC5's Madison LaBurge is live in studio to explain. Oregon State Police bring their recruits to a Josephine County Memorial every year. It symbolizes the sometimes grave sacrifices that come with the job. These trips sparked a question that has led to a historical mystery one officer has spent countless hours trying to solve. On July 1st, 1933, Trooper Burl Balcom stopped what appeared to be a stolen car. He approached the two men in the vehicle near a wide spot on the side of Sexton Mountain. Realizing that they'd been caught panicked, he shot Trooper Balcom once in the stomach. After getting hit with three more gunshots, Trooper Balcom was dead. He was the second OSP trooper to die in the line of duty. But it's not the suspects Lieutenant Bigman is looking for. They were caught shortly after the crime. There was a monument placed near the reported site of Balcom's murder. But now the exact location is a mystery. We know that it was on US 99. Um, US 99 was decommissioned and Interstate 5 took its place. And at the time it was decommissioned, this was moved off. We don't even know what year that actually was. The monument now sits at this rest stop near Merlin. This whole project of mine started with a single question. It was, where was this monument that's behind me? Where was it originally placed? Lieutenant Bigman wants a fallen officer sign on the side of Sexton Summit on I-5. And if she can find the exact location, a historical marker. We always say we won't forget, um, that we'll always remember these, you know, people who made these ultimate sacrifices, but his story is being lost. Lieutenant Bigman hopes to find someone who has the answers before the stories passed down from 1933 are lost forever. In studio, Madison LaBerge, NBC5 News.